Hey guys, welcome back to Random Review Squad. I think it's time for another prism video. Prism video. Don't you think so? I'm your host, Thiru, and this is Random Review Squad. All right, guys, this video was also sponsored by Prism. Thank you, Prism, for sending me the W240. I'm using it for my work, in fact. I'm still getting a lot of rec um, like you know, requests on what monitor they should get you know, in this period of the pandemic and all that, right? For those working at home, those looking for a good professional monitor, the W240 is definitely an option. Right behind there. Can you see the monitor? Yeah, it's there. So let's get into it. I've been using it for the past one week actually. And I think this, this video has been delayed for, for quite some time um, because I was busy getting accustomed to work. This monitor has been at home and I always link it up to the MacBook and it's been pretty decent, or pretty good actually. So let's talk about the specs first. The W240 comes with a uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution panel. It's got 75 Hertz refresh rate. It's a 100% sRGB color gamut. It is, of course, an IPS panel and it's, of course, the size of a 24 inch monitor. It's got HDMI, weirdly doesn't have DisplayPort. Uh, they also have a VGA port for those who, you know, still use VGA. There are computers or workplaces that still use VGA out there. Okay, so let's talk about the display first, okay? So the display is a, like I said, FHD display. It's 1920 by 1080. I think for a 24 inch, that is perfect, right? You, you don't really need a 2K resolution or 4K resolution on a 24 inch panel. Uh, there's really no point unless maybe you're doing some art professional work, but then you would I would suggest you get a bigger screen. You can actually do a lot of work on it. When you're using dual screen, this is a monitor that you can use. There is no backlight bleeding as far as I've seen. There's no dead pixels. I didn't get any bright pixels either. The IPS panel is great. It's amazing actually. You can use it for programming. I've been using it for programming. I've also been using it for some Netflix. Uh, don't let my boss know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's great, right? So you just need to have a laptop or a computer that you know, can support dual display. It's um, slim actually, it's not like the curved displays which are actually pretty thick, which take up a lot more space. So this flat panel is pretty good. Of course, the aspect ratio is 16 by nine, right? So it's not like an ultra wide, which is 21 by nine. 16 by nine is the perfect aspect ratio to watch YouTube videos. Some Netflix shows have started to move towards 21 by nine. I think Disney Plus's shows are 21 by nine. If you're watching 21 by nine shows, you will have black bars above and below, but I think still that's fine. All right, in a 16 by 9 because almost like 80, 70% of the content out there is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I think the main purpose you would buy a 24 inch monitor is to use it as dual display. All right, so you would have one screen on your laptop and the other screen is where you see whatever other things that you want to see. Okay, so let's talk about build quality next. It's improved, I would say, right? Nice, what do you call that, metal finish on the back. All right, it's, it looks very sleek. It's very nicely done. It's slim. Um, the buttons are fine. They feel good it, when you press them. They turn on immediately and turn off immediately. So that's good because the other displays always have a delay for some, some reason. Then the stand itself is a plastic stand. I mean, it could have been in metal or whatnot, but I don't really think that's important. I think as long as it's a good stand, it's which it is, right? So it was easy to mount it and it does the job, it's a round stand, it it won't topple over as easily, so that's good. Building it was pretty easy as well. Take a look at this fast forward of me building it, I guess. Right, so basically you just have to take out the monitor, take out all the other parts, all right, then you assemble the stand, put the stand onto the monitor. I think it's just a clip-on, and then you're done. You just plug in the uh, adapter, the power adapter, and then you plug in the HDMI cable and you're good to go. All right, so it's a pretty quick process and thank you Prism for making it so simple. They have a manual as well, so you can use the manual or you can, you know, kind of just don't use the manual as well. It's, it's pretty simple to understand. There is a blue indicator light for the monitor being on and off, like all the other monitors. It blinks when it's going into standby, so that's great. It's also actually pretty light. Like you can just like unplug the stand and then you can like kind of bring the panel around. 
so that's pretty good but of course try not to you know bring it in travel or anything like that uh, i would say protect the screen as much as you can it's actually a matte panel so um you don't really get reflections on it which is good okay then let's talk about the menu the menu itself it still looks like one of the older menus right it's a simple one i think it gets the job done so that's fine you have all the standard adjustment options brightness contrast this panel does not have hdr so if you're looking for a hdr panel this is not the one for you the 75 hertz has been good i mean i'm using a 100 hertz panel so if you're going up from 60 to 75 you don't see as much of a difference it's still there if you can you know kind of nitpick a bit you can see the 75 hertz but like since i'm using a 100 hertz panel it's not as obvious for me on the 75 hertz panel but I, it's good you know scrolling is still smooth gaming i guess you can game on the panel as well um, but i wouldn't because if i'm gaming i would prefer higher hertz and maybe higher resolution as well but yeah the 75 hertz is good for scrolling looking through your documents typing text processing and whatever not that you want to do during your work i think that's fine it's, it's great yeah it's it's a simple panel it's it's a simple monitor that gets the job done and it does it right for 189 dollars i think the pricing is pretty good as well it's hard to find a monitor at this pricing that gives you this much features definitely recommend this monitor to people who are looking for a professional work monitor but if you want to be gaming on it i mean you can game on it it's 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 pretty um normal I guess there's no other way to put it, right? It's it's a normal experience. You're gaming on a 1080p monitor with 75 hertz, right? It's not like a wow experience. It's not like it's gonna change your gameplay a lot, all right? It's not a big difference per se. Well, but I'm sure they have other variants of the W240, which is I think the W240e and the W240 Pro, and those have better specs if I'm not wrong. Oh, so the W240e has 125% sRGB and they claim it to be a four side zero bezel kind of thing. Yeah, so I guess if you're going for like dual monitors side by side, then you go for a W240e, which is actually about $20 more than the W240. And the W240 Pro is about $80 more, which has wide QHD on it. Wide QHD on a 24 inch monitor is a little bit weird, but I guess it's fine. Uh, and it's also got 125% sRGB and it's got 75 hertz as well. So you're basically playing $80 more for the sRGB and the resolution, right? I think that's a good buy as well. So if you're looking for a simple monitor, 24 inch, the W240 series is pretty good. I think you can take a look at it. It's pretty budget compared to uh, the other Prism monitors, which people are buying more often. And it's an IPS panel, right? So it's not a VA panel, it's an IPS panel, which means the color reproduction is much better. All right, so with that, I'd like to give a big shout out to Prism Plus for sending me this monitor to view. Uh, thank you guys. And I hope, you know, you guys learned something from this video as well. If you like this video, please hit the like button and smash that subscribe button. If you want to know more about the things that I use, or the things that I do daily, or the you know the products that I use, or new upcoming videos or upcoming streams, join the Discord channel. The link is down in the description below. It's a it's a damn good place to come and ask me for recommendations. Yeah. Until next time, I'm your host, Theo, and this is Random Review Squad. Shh.